Hello, hello everyone. So last season, around this time, mid-season, I dropped a Dick Corey video because I was ticked off and frustrated with how they were treated. And I was very ready to drop the entire idea of Dick Corey. I was over it. We've come a long way. Uh, we are at the midpoint of season four and it's time to do another update video. Now, while we've come a long way from the atrocity that was season three, we still got some ways to go. So let's talk about it, yeah? Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. This is the audio only portion of the video. I've got a lot going on today, so I cannot really be in front of the camera, but Dick Corey, we're midway through season four. I mean, where do we go from here? How do they stack up? Honestly, I'm feeling happy, disappointed, and worried. I'm feeling more disappointed and happy than worried, right? Let's start with the good. We always want to start with the good when it comes to Dick Corey. I'm really happy that this season we've had so many little moments with Dick Corey sprinkled throughout, right? Even though they're small, even though they could be perceived as minute, they are so impactful simply because of the chemistry that's present on screen number one. And, and just the greater meaning with these two characters, like the fact that in episode three, you know, Dick Corey really let his guard down with Corey of all people and how he was feeling scared and he didn't really know what to do with everything that was happening with Raven and everything it was really sweet, even though it was so short. And to find out that part of that scene was deleted with them in the car. <sighs> but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, and them in the bowling alley, uh, Dick's little line about Corey can sit in the car, but everyone else has to have a sign up sheet. Like little moments like that are just so well done because of just how they execute every single scene of those two together. Even if they're not in focus, they're in focus. Like I love it. And I love how Dick is so playful with Corey this season, like playfully flirting. We haven't really seen that like at all, actually. I don't think we've seen that at all with Dick. Um, I mean, we got it a little bit, a little bit in season three, but we're not going to speak on that atrocity too much in this video. Um, but just little moments like that. And then, of course, episode six, when they finally have the big talk, it just makes it all worth it from time to time. Like, uh, it makes it worth it to watch them on screen and to watch that relationship develop. Now, my disappointment comes in with how long it took Dick and Corey to have this big conversation. I feel like it took them a little too long to really sit down and have a conversation on where they stand in their friendship and eventual relationship. Like the fact that episode six was the first conversation that they had concerning where they stand, right? And it was about the visions, no less, is a little bit ridiculous to me. And don't get me wrong, I love their moment in episode six. I've made that very clear. But there should have been an additional conversation before episode six. You've had too many moments. Like they had little moments in the RV, at the bowling alley, in the car, any one of those locations, you could have had it to where it's an extended conversation on where they stand, right? Like it's clear as day, they're moving to a place of recognizing their feelings for one another, but I feel like it's taking a little too long. And I told you at the beginning of the season, this conversation of where they stand is essential and it must happen because they fucked around so much in seasons two and three that we those conversations didn't they never happened so we need that now but i feel like it's taking too long and it's making me worried for the future um like are we really going to have a satisfying build up and eventual coming together between dick and corey i don't know i feel like we are but at the same time, the writers don't have a good track record with Dick Corey. So uh, I don't know. Um, part of the issue with them taking so long to have this conversation, one thing is the time frame. Because we learn in episode six that everything that's happened has taken place inside of two weeks. And I hate that because it makes all of the interpersonal relationships seem very rushed and and it's not just with decoy like with everyone it feels very rushed right 
taking that into account, the, the events of season three, like just finished happening, maybe a little less than a month ago. And you're telling me not one time has Dick mentioned that he and Barbara are done? How is that possible? How, how, how has he not mentioned to Corey that they're done? And or even if Corey picks up on it and then boom, there's the catalyst for them to have a deeper conversation on where they stand as far as being friends or and more and more than friends. You know what I mean? Like the fact that that conversation never happened is really crazy to me because it could have happened any time they were in the RV. So there's that with the time frame. The second issue, and shout out to Olisa and Aaliyah KB, because they really opened my eyes to the situation and they helped me kind of put into words what a core issue with Dick Corey is. And it's the editing. The editing surrounding Dick Corey is absolutely atrocious. And it made me understand why there are so many people who for some reason want Dick and Jinx together, even though they have barely had any moments together, right? It's, I I understand why those people exist, why people want Dick and Barbara together, why people want Dick and Dawn together. I get it. You know why I get it? Because when you watch a scene between Dick and Jinx, let's focus on that. When you watch a scene between those two, there are minimal cuts. There are minimal cutaways. You get to see Jinx's reaction to what Dick is saying and vice versa, 90% of the time. Like when they first meet up in episode three and they're in the car, you get to see both of their reactions in real time. Episode six, when when Dick goes to the side and, and gives Jinx the five million dollars, you get to see the reactions linger on screen. You get to see the whole thing play out when it comes to Dick and Corey. That doesn't happen. There are like five cuts within the 30 second conversation. So like Olisa's comment said, it feels half-assed. And I think what it is, they weren't expecting these two actors to have such great chemistry on screen. I really don't believe they were expecting that. I think they were like, okay, bring these two on here. <clears throat> You're gonna have sex, whatever, then we can move forward, right? And that didn't happen because they're a powerhouse. So they blew up and they're like, oh shit. We kind of have to do something because now the fans are getting mad. I really believe that's what happened. So Olisa's comment really just explains it perfectly. Like we're getting what we want, but they're making sure that we jump a thousand hurdles to get to the end point. They're making sure. And it's a little ridiculous. Like I rewatched the Dick and Corey bowling alley scene. And I think it's their second strongest scene that they have thus far this season, simply based on the content of conversation. And that's saying something. And while this scene is not as badly chopped up as some of the other moments that they have down the line, there are a lot of cutaways. Like we're constantly cutting from Dick and Corey talking to the Titans bowling and then back to them. And then when the camera is focused on them, they angle it in a way to where when Dick is talking, you can't see Corey's reaction unless she's smiling and vice versa. And that's a really big problem when you're filming with two actors who can tell a story with their facial expressions. They emote so well with their face, especially when they're filming with each other. So you are essentially cheapening the scene. You are ruining this moment because you're not showing their reactions. And as a viewer, it's hard for you to get immersed in what they're talking about. And that sucks because this is an important conversation for them. This kicks off everything. Like, you know, they're talking about how they're at a fresh slate. You know, Dick is noticing that Corey's different. Corey's talking about how she feels different from everything that happened in season three. And you can't really focus on that when you're constantly cutting away or you're filming it in a way where you can't see the actor's reaction on their face. Like, it sucks. They can't ever just let a moment with Dick Corey just be. You know what I mean? Like... It, it always has to be some finagling going on and it sucks. When Dick says the line like, oh, Corey, you can get in a car first, but everyone else has to do a sign up sheet. We don't see Corey's reaction to that. And this has been an issue since season two. Cause shout out to Aaliyah KB. She mentioned it to me and I, and I went back and I rewatched like that moment. What was it? Season two when Dick and Corey were, <clears throat> they were in the kitchen, I think. And 
you know, I think Corey was walking out and Vic was like, you're leaving too. Um, it was that scene. And you really don't get to see their reactions and emotions linger on screen. And I think that's why episode six of season four stands out so much for me, because we really get to see that between them. We get to see Corey's reaction to Dick saying, to hell with destinies and visions and whatever. Like you can tell that's a gut punch and that means something to her. And then Dick, when Corey acts like, why didn't you tell me? He looks like he wants to break down. Like it's just stuff like that adds so much to their relationship and their characters. And the fact that we keep continuously getting robbed of that is so frustrating. It really is. Like, Because you don't see that happen when Dick interacts with any of these other women. And that's why it's like, what the fuck? (laughs) So I understand why these people ship Dick with these other women so much. I don't agree with it. I think it's a little delusional. But I I understand it. Because when when you see a scene with him and these other women, that shit plays out 100%. It doesn't happen with Corey. And it's like... (sighs) It's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. And, you know, with the visions now coming into play, I don't want that to be a point of conflict between the two of them. Like if once they actually get in a relationship, like I don't want that to be a source of conflict. And I'm I feel like it might be. (sighs) I don't know. Like I love the angst. I love that it's here, but I feel like we should have had the angst early on in this um, season, like episode three, it should have started. And then we build on that with episode six. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like there's few and far big moments with Dick and Corey um, so far. Another thing with Dick and Corey, this is less about the romance, but I don't think they've done a great job so far really showcasing both of them as co-leaders, particularly Corey, actually, because in the beginning, Corey was there to help make important decisions with Dick, like with Connor and everything that was happening with Mother Mayhem. But as the season goes on, like after episode three, she stopped being involved in these important decisions. Like all throughout episode six, and I wish I mentioned this in my review, but all throughout episode six, when Dick was walking around, making the plans, you know, giving the all clear, Corey was not there. She was not there to give her opinion, to give her point of view, to say, yeah, I'm I'm good with this or I'm not good. Like none of that really happened. And that kind of sucks because Corey really stepped up in season three when Dick was fucking around. And I feel like that should be rewarded this season. And it started to be rewarded. But after episode three, they said, no, forget about it. And it was all Dick. Like, all of the decision making was on him and she was not involved. So that kind of sucks. But yeah. And I don't know how they're going to address that in the back half of the season. I mean, Titans is on a like indefinite hiatus. So who who the hell knows when? I'll probably talk about that in another video. But yeah, that's just kind of how I'm feeling with Dick and Corey right now. I feel like they're in an okay space. But we have a long way to go. It's nothing like season three, which is why, you know, I'm not pissed off. I'm really not. I'm just a bit disappointed, you know, Um, because I want more for them. Everybody wants more for them and they deserve it. But they like Olisa's comment and Aaliyah KB's comment said the chemistry is so electric that they have to water it down. Period. Um, and you're hurting not only the characters, but you're hurting the scene because it feels chopped up and it feels messy. So yeah, but, um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have to say. So let me know what you guys think. How do you feel in Dick Corey so far? If you care about the relationships, I know some people, it could go either way and I completely understand that, but yeah, let me know what you think or don't. Either way, thanks for listening and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.